Today we're going to be unboxing the Gage Motorsport Black Venom Roller Rocker Arms. Uh, this set is a 1.2 ratio uh, and features a CNC uh, aircraft grade aluminium, needle bearings, hardened roller tips and shaft, dyno tested to 10,500 RPM and proven to make more horsepower. Uh, as tested, these show a 3% increase in maximum torque and horsepower over standard aluminium rockers. So today we're going to show you how to fit into a GX160 or GX200 cylinder head. Uh, this can be done on the engine or like we have here uh, on a bare head uh, being assembled on the bench. When we unbox the roller rockers, You take them out. They come with these are the actual roller rockers. Black Venom 1.2 lift. Two bolts which act as the rocker studs and two spacers which fit on uh, with the chamfered part onto the roller rockers. So these get installed into the bare head. So whenever you have your original cylinder head um, you will want to remove the original rocker equipment from these points. So you'll be removing the small captive nut the, rocker pivot adjuster, the rocker arm itself, the rocker studs and also the rocker plate. These parts will be removed and you'll end up with the cylinder head completely bare like this one. To fit the roller rockers you're going to need the following tools. A 6mm allen key, a 4mm allen key, 10mm spanner and feeler gauges. To fit the roller rockers, apply a small amount of Loctite into the rocker post studs holes. Also available is the adjustable push rods guide. Um, it allows the uh, push rods to find their natural position. This uh, can be in fitted in conjunction with the roller rockers. It's just a case of dropping the roller rockers on first through the plate and again locating the push rod holes and tightening down the rocker adjuster posts to the correct torque setting. You need to make sure that the push rods are the type with the small neck ends, not the genuine Honda ones which are domed at the end. So the, the push rods must be this type for them to fit. The push rods will then pass through the brass bushings when, when fitted onto the engine and locate onto the roller rocker and will find their natural position and be allowed to float in the correct position. And to adjust the valve lash you slacken off you slacken off the retaining 
nut whilst holding the 4mm allen key in the adjuster grub screw slacken that off turn the adjuster grub screw until the correct valve lash is set to so set your piston atop the head centre, make sure you're on the correct stroke use appropriate feeler gauges between the roller rockers and the lash caps you'll need to run um, the uh, performance lash caps on both the inlet and the exhaust valve um, not the Honda ones we recommend that this would only be fitted with the stainless steel valves, the split keepers and the aluminium retainers and the performance lash caps. So once the performance lash caps are fitted you can use your feeler gauges to set the correct uh, lash which in this case is two thigh on the inlet, three thigh on the exhaust. Use your four mil allen key to adjust the correct valve lash and then when holding in place, when the lash is set, lock off the locking retaining nut. Now the rocker cover will not fit uh, with the billet roller rockers uh, so that you have two options. Um, the first option is to uh, fit a valve, rocker valve cover spacer. Uh, as shown in this image, or you can fit one of our custom aluminium billet rocker covers which allows for the extra depth for the roller rockers. It has a fitting for the pulse pump fitting and is supplied with all the bolts that you need. So you would fit your rocker cover gasket, the billet, custom rocker cover over the top and torque down to the specific setting. And if you do not need the pulse fitting, uh, a bung can be uh, inserted into the pulse fitting hole. So setting the valve lash uh, will be covered in greater detail in a further video um, when it's actually assembled on an engine and we have uh, the push rods inserted and everything set up properly. Uh, so check that out in the future. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.